Thank you for joining this lesson. We are going to study half-life and the decaying question. To define half-life, we usually say that half-life half -life, mostly abbreviated small letter t is the time taken is the time taken for any radioactive sample any active sample to decay to half its value to decay to its value therefore if we have a certain mass and it is disintegrating the time it will take to become a half of the mass it began then we say that time is called half life if we have a given number of atoms which is a which are disintegrating, the time they will take to disintegrate until they have the number they started, then we will say that uh, that time which has been taken there is the half-life of the given sample. We can talk of what we call the decay equation, which says that uh, the number of time, the number which will remain, the remaining number is given by original number, multiplied by a half then a half is raised to n small letter n whereby we say capital n is the remaining number the remaining number of atoms so in this equation n is the remaining number of atoms n naught is original number the original number then a small letter n will be given by time t out of small letter t where again t is the time taken the time taken and small letter t is the half length of the given atom, the half-life of the given atom. Therefore, that is how we simplify the formula. To understand the formula very much, we can take an example on the same. So when we take an example, I believe uh, people will understand what it means by the decay equation. We are given in an example that a, a sample of strontium sample of strontium 90 as a mass of 12 as a mass of 12 grams determine their decay mass determine the undecayed mass the undecayed mass After 84 days, after 84 days, given that the half life is 28 days, given that its half life is 28 days. So we have a substance here whose half-life is 28 days and it is going to disintegrate for 84 days then we want to determine the mass remaining if the starting mass was 12 to offer solution to this one we usually say that the remaining mass will be the original mass times half then half is raised to n and we say small letter n, small letter n is given by time divided by half length. Therefore, we can get n by 84 days divided by 28. 84 divided by 28, which will give us 3. 
therefore a is 3. So we can say the remaining mass is given in your mass multiplied by half raised to 3. Therefore this will be 10 times 1 out of 8 because when we raise half to 3 it will be 1 out of 8. Therefore 10 times 1 out of 8 will give us 1.5 grams. Therefore the remaining grams will be 1.5. Alternatively, the same same question, alternatively, we can have the decay series, we can have the decay series, from 12 grams, these 12 grams will become 6 grams after 28 days, depending on the definition of our life the time they will take to become half. The remaining six will take another 28 days for them to become three grams. And the three grams which has remained will take, to become 1.5 grams, will take 28 days. Try to check the number of, try to check the number of radiations or the number of uh, decays, you realize we have 28, another 28, another 28, and that one is already 84 days. Therefore, after 84 days, we will have 1.5 grams as the remaining mass. So that is how we can still solve it instead of following the formula. Thank you for following. Subscribe to Shifting Grades and share the link. Thank you.